Now, the COVID-19 pandemic has certainly caused budget constraints for college athletics. It's evident here in the state of Iowa and across the country. But as Matthew Judy explains, it's far more reaching than just that. It's been a full year now with modified activities. You know, a lot of people talk about the college aspect, but we have, you know, we have, the high schools are, are hurt. High school activities departments are still trying to navigate a way forward financially. You know, just trying to struggle through the whole, you know, everything that's going on, trying to make sure we, we maintain and continue to do what we've been doing with offering all the sports and activities. And making ends meet was not easy this last year. Most revenue comes from attendance and concessions, and the biggest revenue streams were limited. Football was probably down, um, I, looking back through, I think it was about a third. Which means schools had to cut back on the little things, like equipment and uniforms, to avoid needing to make bigger cuts. Because I think there's a lot of, you know, activities directors across the state are a little concerned. Um, how are we going to do this? None of us wants to cut sports and, and or activities and um, how do you maintain and keep going without having to do that? Kaufman said they are not there yet and there's hope for the future now with the governor's announcement earlier this month that all Iowans could be eligible for the vaccine in April. Hopefully as, as the vaccines and, and time goes on that we're able to get people more comfortable and feel good about coming back to the sporting events and um, we can recover some of our losses we've had. A sentiment that's echoed at other schools. A CIML activities director told Local 5 they were hoping once they can loosen attendance restrictions, that can help with some of their shortfalls. Meanwhile, schools carry a weight that's bigger than budgets. It's more than that. Trying to get kids feeling safe and comfortable, you know, it, it's a constant fight of um, both extremes where people are worried and other people are not. Now, I talked to the Iowa High School Athletic Association. They said they're keeping with their adjusted protocols for the spring because, well, kids aren't eligible for the vaccine yet. They did say, though, that they'll reevaluate and possibly readjust when time comes for summer sports. In Grinnell, Matthew Judy, Local 5 Sports, we are Iowa. Thank you, Matthew. Certainly a lot of flexibility will be needed once again this summer. That'll do it for sports. We'll be right back.